what's going on everybody back for another video here we got a trig uh a trig identity we want to prove so we want to show that all of this is equal to two it's kind of a weird way to write a two so obviously whenever you're proving a trig identity you want to take the more complicated side and see if you can simplify it to the other side so obviously here the left hand side is more complicated so I've got sine to the fourth X minus cosine to the fourth X plus 1 times cosecant squared X so let's see if we can somehow get that to a 2 all right so well obviously this first part here I can factor that that's the difference of two squares so that's going to factor into sine squared minus cosine squared times sine squared plus cosine squared all right and then plus one okay so so you can see this part right here is that Okay, now remember this whole thing here, that whole thing there is times cosecant squared x. So you can see, hopefully you remember this, that this part right here is 1, sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. And so that is going to be sine squared minus cosine squared. Uh, let's see, plus 1 times cosecant squared x. All right. All right, so, well, we need to, I guess we need to see if we can somehow get to to two well I wonder what would happen if I got this in terms of signs because I know see I'm multiplying this times cosecant squared right so if I, if I got cosecant squared I know sine squared times cosecant squared would be one right so so let's do that let's see what happens there so I've got sine squared x minus, now remember cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared, and then plus 1 times cosecant squared x. So, so remember over here, I'll just go off to the side, remember sine squared, let me write that 2 a little better, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So if I take this and move the sine squared over, I get cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. And so I just replace cosine squared with 1 minus sine squared. Don't forget to put it in parentheses because it's minus the whole thing. And so now, well, that's going to give me what? Sine squared x minus 1 plus sine squared x plus 1 times cosecant squared x. Now that's coming together now, isn't it? I just distributed the negative 1. See how negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and sine squared plus sine squared would be 2 sine squared x times cosecant squared x, which that's equal to 2 times sine squared x times 1 over sine squared x, and the sine squared x is cancel, and I'm left with a 2, which is the right-hand side. All right, well, that was a fun problem. That was pretty neat, wasn't it? All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it helped you out. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.